Imagine being on a world record run just to fail to this. So what you saw at the start was called DSS, and is a time saver when it comes to Mario Odyssey speedrunning, but it is incredibly hard to pull off, and probably makes 90% of runs fail. When done correctly, it saves around 9 seconds when in compared to the other skip, called Dino Skip, which is DS instead of DSS. I know, such creative names. So I'm going to put them side by side, just so you can see how much faster DSS is. As you can see, they're both incredibly fast, but the dino skip side has to go through the cutscene, which takes up a lot of time, while DSS just does everything at insane speeds. DSS gets right into the boss fight the second that DS captures the dino. The dino also moves a lot slower than you would expect, but this is why DSS is so important. The reason why it is so difficult is because there is like a one pixel gap for you to land on to be able to complete the jump. And right after you do that, you have to do another jump to get to the top where you do the boss fight. Now I'm going to slow it down and show you exactly how you're supposed to do it. As you can see here, all you're supposed to start with is just a triple jump, then go into the cappy dive, and then land on this super precise area, which may not look super hard, but it is incredibly. And then just wall jump up, then go over to this rock, ground pound, cap jump, bounce off the bone, and then just dive up. It um, is kind of insane, to be honest, and is a 7.5 trick jump. This is why most Mario Odyssey runs fail, and I would not want to be doing a 7.5 out of 10 trick jump every single time I want to do a good run. Now to do the annoying math by adding up all of these. Now we subtract them, and we get 72. And 1 in every 10 runs, somebody actually does Dino Skip Skip, so every 721 runs, there's the world record. And that just proves why they keep failing.